Welcome to the Art Studios with Miss Perna and Mrs. DeGroote. and girls so today we are going to make picasso inspired guitars and we are going to make a collage and remember collage is a french word and it means to glue so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take my big piece of paper and i'm going to take my two smaller pieces of paper so i've got my music notes and then another piece of paper to build my background and what i'm going to do first is i'm going to use these pattern scissors or you can use regular scissors if you have them and then I'm also gonna use hole punchers and I'm gonna cut these into different designs. I don't wanna spend all of my class time cutting, so I'm just gonna make like two cuts all the way across my page. So here's my first one. I'll choose a different scissor. You can cut them any way that you want. Okay. And then I'm gonna add some hole punches. Remember when you use the hole punchers, Make sure that you slide it all the way through and you squeeze on that handle. And then you can add some dots all the way around. And try to get a few pieces. And then I'm gonna glue them onto my page. I don't want them to be hanging over, so I'm gonna make sure that they fit on my page. So when you use your glue stick, Make sure that you take off the glue top, go around the whole piece, and then stick it somewhere on your bigger sheet. And put mine there. And do the same thing for the next one, glue the whole piece. Stick it down. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing here. Now, if you only put a little bit of glue on it, it's gonna come off. You wanna make sure that you're getting glue around the whole edge so this way it doesn't fall off because then it'll take your uh, guitar off when we're done with that. Okay. Then I'm going to take my music note page and I'm gonna glue that down in the background as well. Okay, so now I am just about ready to start my guitar. I'm going to set this aside because we don't need it right now. And I'm going to take my brown piece of paper to do my guitar. When you do your guitar, you're going to fold your paper so that it's horizontal and bring the top and the bottom together. And I'm going to make sure that crease that folded part faces me. Okay, this way it opens away from me. This way, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a guitar that has symmetry by doing only one side of the guitar, and then when I cut it out, I'm going to do the, the, the next piece. Okay, so first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in the middle of my page and do a straight line over. Then I'm going to do a little line down. Don't connect to the base, okay? Another line that comes down. Okay. And then I'm gonna make an, a letter M, a lowercase M, but it's gotta come down and touch that side of my paper. If you do it here, it's gonna be too little. So watch, I'm gonna go one loop. So here's my M, don't touch that middle line. One more. So all the way over. So the only spot that touches is that last piece. Then what you are going to do is you are going to fold it, uh, unfold it. And you can see I only have half of my guitar. So in order to get both of my guitars, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna stay on that line. You cannot come off that line, otherwise you'll cut your guitar piece. So I'm gonna turn it, stay on that line, all the way up. Okay. And then I should have a symmetrical guitar when I open it up. 
So there's my guitar. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring back that paper that I just made and I'm going to glue that and I'm gonna make sure I go around it pretty quickly. Otherwise that glue is gonna dry. I'm gonna go all the way around it and then glue that onto my page. Okay. So there's the base of my guitar. Now we're ready to add the pieces of our guitar. So to do that, I'm going to take a black piece of paper and I'm going to draw two lines towards the top, straight across. One, two, and then I'm gonna draw a big circle. And then I'm gonna add six little lines only to one of those rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, now I'm gonna cut those pieces out and start to put my guitar together. Make sure again, you're staying on those lines. So I've got both of my pieces. I'm gonna cut out my sound hole for my guitar. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut my little pieces. All right. So after I'm done with that, I'm ready to start putting my guitar together. So I'm gonna start with six tuners. So I'm gonna go to the top of my guitar and I'm gonna add three on one side and three on the other. So put a little bit of glue. Okay, and then one, two, and three. Same thing for the other side. One, two, and you wanna to try to make sure that they all fit on there. Three. Okay, then I'm gonna take and do the same thing for my sound hole. So I'm gonna go over that circle, it should go in the middle of my guitar. Press down, make sure that it's glued on there really well. And then I'm gonna take my bridge glue that and put that right at the bottom. Okay. Now, after you do that, you're ready to do your uh, lines for your guitar. If you have six tuners, you have six strings for your guitar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at each of those tuners and bring that line all the way down to touch my bridge. So I'm gonna try to make a nice straight line. So here's one, two, and three. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. One, two, and three. And then when you're done with that, you can take your uh, crayons or uh, markers or pencils and you can add music notes around it. So I'm gonna add some different music notes and you can fill some of them in, you can leave some of them like that. But you wanna add lots of music notes. I'm not gonna draw the music notes on my guitar, I'm gonna do it all around it. Okay, and you could do different colors. But you wanna fill it up, and I'm gonna use some white too, so you can see the different colors. And then when you're finished, you have a beautiful guitar collage. Have fun making your guitars. <laughs>